Alrighty, so we are doing another CompTIA Security Plus Quick 10 Plus The Daily Question. Alright, what is the daily question? A forest snakes investigator is using a Linux utility to clone a drive in raw format, a bit by bit format. Of the following, which utility could invest is could the investigator you could be using? So I immediately know it's not grip because that's just used to like look up text whenever you have a certain command that you need to run. You you pipe it over to grip and then you know the in quotations of what you want to use. Uh, TCP tump not really because um, that's that's more of a network thing. And then DN, DNS in um that's also a network thing. So the last thing we have here is DD. And that is correct, because DD is uh, a Linux utility that can be used to just cl uh, clone a drive in format. You can also use it to um, to basically flash over an ISO to a USB if you need to. Let's say you need to flash like a Linux ISO over. You can also use DD to do that. And yeah, it's a very good tool. It's very just simple and straightforward. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and do a quick ten. Cryptography has two essential categories consisting of symmetric and asymmetric cryptic techniques. With varying purposes and uses, it is important to select the most important technique for an application's purpose. Which kind of crypto cryptography key uses asymmetric keys alone or in conjunction with symmetric encryption keys? Um, it's going to be, I'm going to say it's A, but no, it's a public key because a public key crypt, uh, cryptography uses asymmetric keys alone or in addition to addition to symmetric keys. <clears throat> Third party consultants have hired to perform a penetration test at local government office. They've already created a network map and determine what systems are connected. Uh, they are now individually reviewing systems to find what weakness. What type of term is used for evaluating a system to determine what vectors could be used in an attack? Hmm. Okay, so we have a couple of things. We have diving, review, collection, and in enumeration so with this one i'm not so sure as we know there's a lot of things that are doing here they're basically from a penetration test they have already created a network map so they don't need to review it although technically they are reviewing what they have this is basically kind of a white test, white box testing, because they know exactly what they need and what they're going to be doing. I would say it's pr actually probably review, although it could be enumeration, although it's not collection because you're not collecting any data. You already have the data. So I'm going to say it's review, but it's an enumeration because enumeration is the process of determining and defining a list of attack vectors on a computer such as open ports let's go to the next one an organization is looking to adopt a cloud model to augment their internal network through the vpn connection with the cloud the executives are concerned that sensitive information sent in from the cloud might be a target for attackers which will always be implemented when transferring data between the internal network and the cloud uh, a synchronization of backup sources b short passwords c encryption or d added storage security all right, so let's dissect this question. An organization look to adopt a uh, to augment their internal network through a VPN connection. Cloud. Turn that since they might be sent from the cloud might be a target for attackers. Okay. So, what should always be implemented? Obviously, short passwords are kind of out of here. There's no reason to have that. Uh, storage security is good, but it's not what we need to do whenever we're uh, transferring files through the cloud. Uh, so we have two of them here. Synchronization of backup sources. That's fine if they delete it, if like attackers delete it, but they still have that data. We don't want them to get the data. So encryption is going to be the answer. A successful server attack has exfiltrated a user and password database, but the passwords are hashed for security, so they're not readily decipherable. The attacker then attempts to use a password attack that with a large set of previously computed hash values. Which attack uses pre-calculated pre encrypted passwords to look up in a table? So, now, some people might say it's a rainbow table attack. However, I believe it's a dictionary attack, and the reason why is because we already had a basically a um 
basically we've seen these kind of hash values before. And yeah, so the attacker then attempts to use a password attack that has a large set of previously computed hash values. So essentially, it's probably not this, and it's probably not this because you're not downgrading anything. A downgrade attack is basically like lowering security. This is password, so um, this is D is out of the question. It's one of these two. Um, I'm going to say it's probably a replay attack, although I'm most likely wrong, and it's probably a rainbow table attack because technically the two work in hand. Right, because a rainbow table attack uses pre computed rainbow tables. <clears throat> In order business is developing credit card processing in the new web store front end, they are investigating security requirements for the potential web application development. Which of the following algorithms is asymmetrical and used in e-commerce because it works well with TSL and SSL? I believe it's... I think it's RSA. Yeah. Because RSA is used in emails and most other data across the internet, so that's why. Coming to the effective federal government in May 2002, this encryption algorithm provided variable lengths of 128, 192, or 256 bits. Which symmetrical key encryption was created to replace DSS and 3DS, I believe, and I hope I'm not wrong, but I think it is Blowfish. It's AES, okay. Yeah. Of the following, which of the term is applied to a weakness or bug that is unknown or relevant or to relevant authorities and represent undocumented uh let's see okay so of the following which of the term is applied to a weakness or a bug that is unknown to relevant authorities so basically if you found a vulnerability and even the authors don't know about it it's called a zero day attack because basically kind of think of it as d-day or doomsday or basically a zero day because they basically have no knowledge of it for zero days. So it's a zero day attack. A junior administrator has joined Acme Inc. and is being briefed on the workstation environment. She's not immediately familiar with Windows as she comes from a Linux background. She's confused about how Microsoft handles patching, which term is using to, to a Microsoft group of updates and bug fixes for an operating system, security update, hotfix, service pack, or bug fix. So. Windows uh, is pretty bad at this. <laughs> uh, service pack is just kind of used, is basically just the thing that they use for their marketing techniques when they were selling Windows. Um, it's not a bug fix, because even though they're fixing bugs, it's technically not what it is. Uh, it's not a hot fix either. Although they do output hot fix, it's a security update. It's a service pack. Oh my. Well. Oh. Yes, her and I are not so different because I I'm more of a Linux person. I know Linux. I don't know stem that well. I I mean I do. The thing is is <laughs> oh, okay. Acme Inc. is using the software hosted on the vendor's website. The software provides payroll and accounting features as well as some CMR components. All of the services are maintained by the vendor, which is the following exactly using okay so they're probably using software as a service so it's saas yeah software as a service okay the process of embedding secret messages has a rather long history one method is to provide a seemingly normal communication that's actually has secret information hidden within uh which is the term of science of hitting messages it's actually this is if it's either c or b yeah, see, because doing the off is the science of hiding a secret message. All right, 50%. Not as bad as I as I thought it was going to do. But yeah, anyways, every day we live, we learn. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Like.